Gosh, look at this pile system. In today's video, I'm going to tackle my craft and sewing space and bring it from non-functioning at all to a space that actually I look forward to working. So one of the most urgent things I need to deal with is really this cupboard. And then I need to find a place for my rotary mat, which is currently living on the floor under a poster. And clearing my desk is also in order as I'm currently using it as a storage unit rather than a desk. Welcome to Miss Matty, my name is Matilda and today I'm bringing you along organizing my craft and sewing room, which is also my husband's office as well as guest bedroom. Before filming this video, I got a couple of things from Ikea, including this utility cart called a raw school. I'm gonna put stuff in this one here, and it's gonna probably mostly be stationary, maybe my camera equipment things that are over here, and um, yeah, like the hard drive, possibly some of this um, paints and colors. We'll see how it fits in. And I'm gonna move all out all these things from the cupboard. And then I am gonna put this um, shelf from Ikea called Hillis uh, into here so we can actually stop having this pile system. One of my issues expect the pile system is that many of my items do live in other areas of my home like my fabric stash, my UFOs and my yarns. And then I have uh, put out all the stuff that is like in um, the cupboards over here. So these are all like old fabric scraps that I collected the past two years. So my aim is to make floor pillows with these as fillings. And I think it's I still have to have quite a lot. So I think I should make the product soon. And I will definitely share a DIY tutorial how to make the floor pillows. Here is my computer living because I was watching some uh, inspirational videos for organizing this space. So I uh, here is me finishing off the project of painting this hutch, cabinet, whatever you want to call it. And um, that is just drying right now. So it looks extremely chaotic in my living room right now because the green lights here I brought out all this fabrics and all the things I want to upcycle and I'm gonna sort them into these boxes and organize between these boxes so I know more exactly where things are so that's my aim for now I placed all my UFOs so like projects in progress in this shelf I thought I was gonna get time to go through this today but I think I will have to do that for the next video and another day and just put it all there and uh, maybe I will have a little um, finishing project party to just get this out of the way so I can get started on new projects because I have so many things I want to make so I'm definitely in that stage right now when you're tidying and it actually feels worse than I've begun so I'm just gonna take a break in a bit but first I'm gonna empty out this whole cupboard so I can put in the shelf and when I come back it's gonna be much easier for me to get going on top of this later i'm gonna take a break now go and get a coffee maybe some croissant and then i'm gonna also have this one inside so i can pull it out and i think that's gonna be great because i will have some of my art supply on here so when i'm doing any art projects i can just take this out and it's not like this thing going on out there so i'm back now from having a coffee and a croissant and i'm gonna start uh, clearing through these items behind me so 
I started to go through both my fabric and upcycle pile and folding them into my new storage boxes. I also had a lot of UFOs mixed up with my fabric, so I made sure to separate it all so I know where things are in the future. through my yarns and rearranged them into another of my big storage boxes. Then I put together all my upcycling materials as well as the fabric scraps for the pillows in one box. I didn't actually have space for all my yarns or pillow stuffing, so I did put them together in a cardboard box for now. Then I did put all the upcycling materials that are not fabric related in another box. The good news with new storage boxes was that I finally had somewhere to put all my overlocker threads and accessories for my soldier. Then it's time to dust things off and give them a new home in the cupboard. When my desk was finally clear, I did wipe it down with a cloth. So that stuff needs to go down here or in that shelf. And these boxes, they need to be removed to the other cupboard. There is mainly memory stuff in these ones. And then you can see here, I cleared my desk. So at least I can do some work. So yeah, also this is one product that I'm working on right now. This is a Christmas jumper and hopefully later on today I will be able to go to Home Depot to buy some spray paint for this because this looks really boring. I mean, I think this disc is also really boring, uh, but I got it for free. So I'm grateful for having that for free, but... So I'm considering right now, is it worth putting like some contact paper on it to make it look prettier? Because it's such a cheap IKEA desk and it might be more worth spending money on a better quality desk surface, desktop and like a heavier one so it's better to pattern cut on it and it's not so flimsy like many of the cheap IKEA desks are or if I should just upgrade what I have with some contact paper. Let me know what you think. So yes, I'm gonna get some work done now and later on in the afternoon, I'm gonna continue the project and um, basically get it finished to where I wanted it to be yesterday. And as always, as you know, it takes way longer to organize your home than you initially think, right? Or is it just me? Let me know. So here's the boxes that are gonna go in the cupboard. 
on top. I initially thought I just needed to buy one of these of these big ones, but I think I need to buy one more because the upcycling stuff are in two separate boxes right now. Uh, whereas this box here is mainly the scraps that I'm gonna use for um, the pillows. So hopefully if I make the product soon, I only will need one extra. Then I think I actually need to order two of these because I have two lids. Um, and then I forgot. And that box could be for the things that I have in this paper box. All the boxes I just showed you are on the top of the shelf and it's now time to put the last pieces in place. decided to go through my inks and glue sticks and markers to make sure I didn't keep any dried out ones. I have this old test tube holder where I'm storing all my brushes. Then I put them all in my utility cart. And then I'm done, at least for now. I was doing my initial tidying in the craft slash sewing room and um, I just wanted to finish off the video by saying thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video and you want me to make an update how my organization and tidying in my craft slash sewing room is going give this video a like so and let me know uh, because if so I will uh, it's far from done it's just the initial start to make this from unworkable to at least workable and at the moment I'm trying to analyze what is working and not working with the rest of the organization so I can do a better system in the end but at least now I can work in space and as such I can judge those things which I couldn't before and that's amazing and if you haven't subscribed already to my channel please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you will not miss any upcoming videos from me. And um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to see you soon. And um, until next time, hey doll, peace.